Now I know y'all looking at the title like what the fuck is going on, Uncle Nick? Let's get to it. You gotta talk that shit. You gotta address this right here. Let's get the party started. You know what I'm saying? Now I was chilling out last night. I was doing a little live streaming shit. The numbers were kind of low. It was kind of dead. So I decided to break the fuck out. You know what I mean? Finish my beer, smoke my weed, eat some food, and get some rest. So I took my ass to bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm sleeping, chilling, doing my thing. And all of a sudden, my phone keeps going off. You know what I'm saying? But I ignored this shit. I'm like, fuck that. I gotta get some shut eye. You know what I'm saying? So I wake up to take a piss later in the night. And I'm like, yo, let me check my phone to see what's popping. You know what I mean? So I go through my phone and I see that it's Gully TV. This nigga is direct messaging me and shit like that. And I'm like, the fuck you direct messaging me at this time for you? So I look at the message and shit. And the nigga's like, yo, you're done. I'm gonna expose you, white boy, and shit like that. And I'm thinking in my mind, like, why are you typing this to me right now? Why don't you just go fucking expose me then? If you got all this critical information that's gonna blow the fucking lid off of everything, you know what I mean? It could only be one thing, that you're actually a fan. And he wanted to have some type of dialogue Because that shit is weird at the end of the day But I engaged him, we went back and forth So in my mind, I was like, yo, this nigga's tight about that Flea Lord interview You know what I'm saying? But he wrote me back and it's like, oh, Flea Lord is mediocre, average at best I'm not worried about Flea Lord, yada, yada, yada I'ma expose you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I don't give a fuck I went back to bed, you know what I'm saying? Woke up this morning, maybe a little coffee, rolled up a joint and shit and I want to check Instagram and boo, yeah, the party got started. Welcome to the party, Uncle Nick, you know what I'm saying? And um, he had this article up there about me uh, fucking robbing somebody or some shit like that. Then he had a, a video that I put out because I used to do these cooking videos and shit like that where I was making a cactus salad. And then I guess he like screenshotted, I don't know, my fucking Instagram page, whatever the fuck it is, you know what I mean, so I go check out the post and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, he tagged me and all that, so I'm starting to read it and shit, and I'm like, yo, this shit is funny right here, you know what I mean, because niggas on the internet, they look at you, and they think that they can put you in a box, they think they can figure you out, so then they get a little piece of information from there, a little something from here, and they spin a story, so this nigga's like, yo, a childhood friend is exposing you and shit like that, but I gotta admit, he's clever, because he's trying to uh, validate his story for all these people that truly don't follow me or don't know my story or anything like that, or people that are gonna just chime in and talk a little shit, he's gotta make this look juicy, he's gotta make this look good, and if you pretend or you act like or you make up a lie about some childhood friend exposing me, it seems like this shit is real, but this nigga's making shit up right here. And in my mind, I know this nigga's lying, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no childhood friend said you nothing. I used to talk about all this stuff on my show back in the days, you know what I'm saying? So it's some disgruntled ex-member of the Wolf Pack, you know what I mean? I be blocking niggas sometimes, we don't get along anymore. So they thought that they would go hit up Gully TV, like, yo, Gully TV, expose Uncle Nick, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? How can you expose something that I already talked about and I already put out there and that's how you know about it? That's a little lame brain right there. You fucking rocket scientists out there. But anyhow, like I said, people think that they can uh, judge you or gauge you on the internet. So he's talking about you're not Puerto Rican or you're not this or you're not that. And anybody that watches my show, you know that I talk about my parents. My mom's is black. My pops is Italian. I give a shout out to all my Latin people in the world. I grew up at LES, so I grew up around mad Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, New York City. It's a melting pot. You get to meet a lot of people. So at the end of the day, I speak a little Spanish in my videos or do this or do that. And you think that I look Puerto Rican, so you put that in your brain. So I guess that's part of your whole spiel now. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. But I don't want this video to be too long. I want it to be a uh, compact, you know what I'm saying? So let's start breaking all this shit down that he's exposing, you know what I mean? So one of the things he was saying is that, oh, I got a picture of your white mother. Really, son? You know what I'm saying? I usually don't post things on Instagram about my family members or certain shit because it ain't nobody's fucking business. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what I'm doing. And I said, you know what I mean? You don't need to know every fucking intricate detail about my fucking life. You know what I mean? I'm not a liar, so I don't feel like I have to prove shit to anyone. 
But just to prove that you're a fucking liar, I put a picture of my mother and my grandfather, you know what I'm saying, when I was a kid. Now, they're not the darkest of black folks, you know what I'm saying, but they're black. You can clearly see, you know what I mean, that Uncle Nick's in the right and you're in the wrong. So you're trying to make some bullshit up. Negative that. So that was the first motherfucking thing that he's lying about, you know what I'm saying? Then he starts to try to adjust the margins and shit like that. Now, this is where there is some truth to the story, you know what I'm saying? He puts some uh, article up and shit like that. Nicholas Ayacobino, that's me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rob's petty cab dude or whatever the fuck at the end of the day, I got arrested. He said, oh, he swung a hammer at him. Not a real hammer, but an actual hammer, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into that, right? Now... I don't like to get into all my business, but I used to lend people money back in the day, you know what I'm saying, for a little fee, basically, you get the idea, but there was this one motherfucker, I gave him like six or seven hundred dollars or something like that, he had to pay his rent or some shit, and this nigga started ducking me, I'm like, yo, where the fuck this nigga at, and there was this mechanic that I used to fuck with in this parking lot, you know what I'm saying, so he was over there fixing some shit for me, I was drinking a beer, smoking a cigarette, and booyah, this nigga comes in there, because they knew each other and shit like that, and I'm like, yo, Stop, son. Where the fuck you been at? So I grab him by his arm and shit, and I'm like, yo, dogs, I want my motherfucking money. So he pulled away, he spun around, and he tried to run. But I grabbed the back of his shirt, and there was a hammer, because the mechanic was fixing some shit on this little table. So I picked the hammer up, and I swung the shit at him, you know what I'm saying? But it missed him, he ducked his shit, he got loose, and he ran. You know what I mean? I chased him for a little bit. I want my fucking money. I did the right thing. You were in a fucking jam, and I helped you out, and now you want to try to... Play me, but the nigga got away and shit, you know what I mean? He went and called the cops, and the nigga got me locked up. So that's what it boils down to at the end of the day. I lend the motherfucking money for a little fee on top, you know what I'm saying? I see him because he's trying to duck me. I step to him. Shit got a little crazy. I probably should have just relaxed. I probably overreacted, but this nigga ran to the cops and said that I try to rob him. You try to rob me, nigga, you know what I'm saying? But this is the bullshit that he's trying to spin. But I guess he feels, you know what I'm saying, he's exposing something. Because he doesn't know that I already talked about this fucking story on my channel dozens of fucking times, you know what I'm saying? So it's new to him, but it's not new to my followers, and it's not new to me, because I don't sit up here and pretend to be some fucking angel. I tell people all the time, I used to go to jail a lot, motherfucker. I did a lot of skit bids. I never had to fucking sit up for years or nothing like that. And then he was like, oh, you never been to Rikers Island. Bitch, if you know, nigga, a lot of motherfuckers go to the tombs that are from Manhattan and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got Brooklyn House, Queens, niggas, this and that. Now, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do get shipped out to Rikers once they get sentenced or this or that or whatever's going on. You know what I mean? Sometimes a certain house is overpacked or whatever the fuck. But I always did my time in the tomb, so the nigga was wrong again. So the nigga tries to sit up here and I guess shame me or put something out there. But that's the fucking real deal about the story. So how are you exposing me, son? You look fucking crazy right now. But being the bipolar motherfucker that I am, I'm unpredictable, you know what I'm saying? So there's a little more to the story at the end of the day. This nigga's trying to put out some article about me robbing somebody and shit like that. Negative.com, nigga. Why don't you put out the article about me and my crew actually stopping a robbery? You know what I'm saying? Nigga ran up in this restaurant where we used to hustle at and do certain shit. Nigga started beating up the old people, punching old dude in the face and shit like that. Lady came outside screaming, crying, looking all fucked up. Nah, nigga, those are my peoples. I fuck with them. They let us do our thing. So we gon' regulate, motherfucker. But you don't want to talk about that shit right there, right? You don't want to talk about all the charitable things that I do. My second annual Christmas drive. What's up? And, um... I don't know. I'm just in the uh, spirit of giving right now. You know, I get uh, donations to my show on YouTube and stuff like that. And I just wanted to come back and uh, give to the kids in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to see them smile, feel good, and I want to inspire them. And I want to let them know that people care about them out here. I'm going to do a third one this year. Feeding the homeless in the streets. Taking care of the ladies in the shelters. Donating to the motherfucking church. Going out and cleaning the streets in Jersey. Giving kids toys. Just giving back to my community. Buying homeless people shoes. All types of shit, and I do that with the donations from the little bit of followers that I have. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have a little bit of followers that actually hold it.
town and help me change the world that have a bunch of motherfuckers that just want to sit around and look at a bunch of gossiping bullshit and pretend like they're living vicariously through you and you got some flashy fucking lifestyle. Stop that bullshit right there. Then the nigga tried to put a little video up of me making a uh, cactus salad. I had the fly rugby on with the motherfucking rugby cap to match, you know what I'm saying, with the shorts and shit. You didn't get to see all that, but I'm glad he picked that clip, you know what I mean? I'm a fly nigga. Hold it down. But, um, I guess he screen recorded this shit. Uh, I don't know what, but the fucking screen was cracked. And he's talking about all this money and all this extra shit. Get yourself a new fucking computer. Why are you throwing shit on a screen that's cracked like a motherfucker? I thought you'd get bread, nigga. But that's neither here or there. You know what I'm saying? So he's sitting up here and he's talking about this video. And, oh, I got a fake accent and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And when I first got on YouTube... I used to try to tone things down a little bit, speak a certain way, not really have my, uh, I guess my raspy voice and my accent boom out like that, you know what I mean? But it became a little too hard for me to just tone it down and play this character. And of course, you know, the booze, the cigarettes, different things through the years they've contributed to this fucking crazy voice that I have now. But he seemed to be really concerned about the way I sound, the way I talk. And he's like, well, I'm just going to expose this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I know it was one of these uh, YouTube stalker-ass niggas. Because niggas used to send me shit like that all the time. Oh, well, you used to sound like this, now you sound like that. Yeah, because I was trying to tone things down and not come off like a fucking psycho, you know what I'm saying? So I was trying to play a certain role that I thought um, would be suitable on YouTube and would get subscribers, you know, to pop off with the channel. But that shit became a little too much. And when I let it just hang out, just do my thing, just express myself the way I feel like it, motherfucker started subscribing. So I said, man, fuck that shit. I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm going to be myself. But why are you concerned about my voice? Why are you concerned about what I got arrested for? Why are you trying to say that my brother's white and this is like this and I'm a white boy and all that? Because you feel at the end of the day that I'm creeping on the come up and I'm the next one. But anyhow, I don't want to chew your ear off with this bullshit. This will be the last time I'll even be addressing this. Because like I told y'all um, in that last video that I did several weeks ago, I'm not going to be going at YouTubers. I'm not going to be roasting YouTubers, talking shit to them, or doing all types of extra shit on my channel. And then all their little followers and minions, they start flagging your shit. You start having all types of fucking issues at the end of the day. So shout out to Gully TV. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all you motherfuckers on YouTube doing your damn Dang, this was actually entertaining, it was funny, and I'm quarantined, I didn't really have shit to do, I wasn't even gonna make a video today, but you helped me get it popping, and number one, most of all, you're giving me free promo, so I really appreciate that shit at the end of the day, shout out to you, son, and if you ever wanna call into the show, you wanna talk a little shit, the platform is open to you, let me know what's popping, but other than that, y'all get up in the comments section, and y'all let me know what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? And if you appreciate the content, get up in the description box and drop a donation. Trip, trip, trip fills the bucket. And other than that, I'm out this motherfucker. Y'all be safe, be cool, be easy. Don't do anything stupid on the fucking internet or in these goddamn streets. And I'll see y'all motherfuckers soon. Peace.